So the first line of defense in a network and the first thing we should study in cybersecurity is how to use and the types of firewalls. A firewall is really acts like a security guard in front of a door. It filters and grants access in and out of your resource or network. There are different kinds of firewalls. There are software high purely software firewalls like the ones we have in Windows 7 or Windows 8 and we also have hardware firewalls that these are really boxes that have security measures in them. There is also a combination of software and hardware firewalls and this is normally what is used in networks. Now that being said we need to know the different kinds of firewall technologies. So the first type is packet filtering firewalls. In order to explain that, I'm going to show you here that I have in my diagram a terminal, a terminal computer, and a host. And this arrow that you see between them is a real representation of a message or a package being sent from terminal to host. Now, also you see here this rectangular here below the firewall. That's our data package, or a zoom of our data package. Also, you see that this data package has to go through the firewall in order to reach the host. Now, the yellow part uh, that I'm highlighting here, or the red part of the package, is the amount of the data package that this firewall will inspect or check. And this will depend on the different firewall types. So, in the case of packet filtering firewalls, only part of the packet header is inspected. This means that a lot of packages can go through the firewall very quickly. But also means that it's not as secure as other types. It creates very little overhead, so single packet attacks will be caught mostly. Okay, the next type is stateful inspection firewalls. As you can see, it's very similar to the packet filtering. It also analyzes the header of the package, but this time it analyzes it more completely. It checks more fields of the data header. Not all of them, but more than just simply packet filtering firewalls. This creates a little bit more overhead in the firewall making it slightly slower but it's still very quick. Most fields in the header are inspected but again it's important to know that not all and most multi-packet attacks are caught. This is because the stateful inspection firewalls retain the state of the connection between terminal and host in their memory and this gives the firewall more fields to analyze. So the states like I'm connected, I'm not connected, or this kind of messages that has to happen in communications between computers is retained in that firewall memory and that allows the firewall to implement security filters based on those fields or th that information. Since we have more data to filter a package, is we are considered more secure than simply packet filtering. The next type of firewalls are circuit level firewalls. In circuit level firewalls, you can see that the packet session between terminal and host that needs to be established in order to send the message is terminated in the firewall and recreate it. So that's why you see here an A representing the connection and the A here and then the A ends here and transforms into B and that B connection is the one that is transmitted. So this adds an additional layer of security to my communication. Another important thing is that the entire header of the data package is inspected by circuit level firewalls. 
This guarantees that all or most of the multi-packet attacks are going to get caught, but it creates a significant overhead in the firewall because creating this, uh, terminating this session and re recreating or restart another session, it takes a lot of work. Of course, this gives an additional level of security and since the firewall has to recreate the session, there are even more fields or more data that the firewall can inspect and more attacks that can be caught with this type of firewalls. Finally, we have application level firewalls. Application level firewalls are extremely similar to circuit level firewalls that we discussed just a few seconds ago. Now, the, f the thing that you can see is that now not only the full data package header is inspected, but it's almost the entire package get inspected. So the data itself that is contained and encapsulated in the package or the data package that normally will contain data like HTML code or data um, belonging to a specific application like web page or email message, etc. That data is also inspected by this type of firewalls, and that's why we are called application level firewalls. As you can imagine, these are the kinds of firewalls that create the highest overhead and therefore are the slowest to run, and they can only uh, are the ones that can filter low volume of data or really are just the slowest types of firewalls, so they will take a significant amount of time to filter packages. But of course, they are the most secure. And these are the four main, main types of firewalls, configurations and types, and its different uh, characteristics.